you know you messed up. When you when when you try to go get bail, you know, plead your plead your case to the judge. See if you can get out for a little while. See your family before the trial. Maybe help your lawyers with the case. And you show up to the courtroom. And the DA has a whole law and order scene set up. Complete with PowerPoint presentations. Like at that point, you just got to like turn around and be like, whoop, take me back to the hoose, gal. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Liberally blossom, two passengers come out. The taller one's got a short barreled rifle. The second one has what looks like a handgun. Uh, testimonial evidence is they're trying to get the victim to remove his chain that's around his neck. Uh, the victim is somewhat resisting. You can see the victim's hands coming out, uh, trying to push them back or, 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 or not cooperate. The littler guy goes to the passenger side. Sorry, I was to pause it. Yeah, here, one more time. So, based on your investigation, the smaller of the two individuals, who is this? Uh, Newsom. And this bigger person is who? Bo, right. Newsom is going to go in the vehicle. Bo Ray is going to fire rounds in at the victim. And Newsom is going to run out with the Louis Vuitton bag. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? All right, so, yeah. Today there was a hearing for Robert Allen, and he was trying to get bail. Robert Allen. For everybody that don't know, Robert Allen was the, 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 the heavier gentleman or the heavier individual that was actually walking in the store, or, or should I say, he was caught on surveillance camera in the store, walking around, and following, or is believed, he was like a lookout to make sure that they knew when XXX Tentacion was leaving the uh, dealership. So he was following him around. That's what they look like they caught him on camera doing. Anyway, so he shows up to court and he's trying to get bail. Now, just uh, real quick, so you can get an update if you haven't seen, uh, as far as what I've been personally saying, because I'm pretty sure anybody who's watching this video, y'all have seen a couple of different um, uh, content providers' videos on this, and just so y'all can understand what my position is, I've always been saying from the beginning, ever since they caught the first guy, that he starts snitching. That's how they got all the other guys, is because he's been talking. And if you really pay attention to what they were saying on there, they said uh, corroborative evidence or something along those lines. And basically, they know that they were trying that that the assailants was trying to get that the um, people that the suspects was trying to get the the chain of XXX Tentacion because somebody said that they was. So, like I said before, somebody's talking. Maybe all of them are talking. But absolutely, without a shadow of doubt, somebody is talking. If everybody else also remembers, nobody even knew who those first two guys were. You know, now we see that they had them on surveillance. So it's a good chance that they got caught that way or they got caught because somebody was talking. I mean, you know, never know. Anyway, so he shows up. Robert Allen shows up to court to try to ask for bail. I'm not trying to laugh because shit ain't funny. But he's trying to ask for bail. And this is what they do. They show the footage of the murder. My dude ain't none of y'all getting bail. None of y'all. None of these guys is getting bail. These guys is going to get everything that they deserve from this. It's just I, my opinion is the, the courts know that, they, that these guys know 
first of all, they shouldn't put it, give him bail anyway because putting these guys back out into the street, you're endangering the pop the public. That's just what you're doing. These guys is blatantly committing murders in broad daylight. You're endangering the public. That's one. Two, obviously, these guys are going to try to run. You don't give bail to somebody that you know for a fact is going to try to run. And there's very little chance that these guys are not going to try to run. They literally had to go out and catch them. And see, that's for everybody that don't know, that's one of the reasons why they put your name out there. Like when they're like, oh man, we're looking for this person to speak with and that person to speak with. Because then if 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 it goes out on the news or whatever the case is, I'm not saying this is the sole purpose because you're going to have people that's going to come into the comment section and give 20 different reasons why the police will let you know somebody that they're looking for and act like it can only be that one reason that they're talking about. No, there's multiple different reasons. And one of the reasons is they put the name out there. So, you know, if somebody see you, obviously they could be like, oh man, I saw that guy over there. And they could call the police and the police could come pick you up. But another reason is, after it's already been publicized that the police want to speak with you and you don't come in and give yourself up, it's been public knowledge that the police want to speak with you and, you know, you live in county over here, then all of a sudden they pick you up three states away. That just makes it so, you know, we know not to give these people bail. So there's no way any of these guys are getting bail. I believe they found Robert Allen at his sister's house in Georgia. In a whole nother state. So I just doubt very much that any of these guys will be able to get bail. And even, I guess, more importantly, they will be a danger to the public. They're committing murders in broad daylight. Anyway. So this was the first time that footage has actually been released of the actual murder. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I mean, when you have people who kill celebrities in broad daylight, these guys is never going to be put back out on the street. So, you know, they decided to forfeit their life to spend a couple of days with a little bit of money. They forfeited their whole entire life to spend a couple of days with a little bit of money. I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, let me know what y'all guys think about this. Remember, Robert Allen was the big heavy set guy. The guy that looks like he can't run a half a block. That was Robert Allen. The guy that, not the guy that <laughs> they were talking about got um, raped in prison. Not him. That was the first guy that got caught. I forgot his name. Can't think of it offhand. But this was Robert Allen, the fat guy. Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. I can't even understand how they are asking for bail. Like I would have, like I, I haven't even heard of shit like this. You go ask for bail, and they decide to sh to bring in the footage of the actual murder. I mean, what what the fuck? Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. That's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much. And enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it. The really blossom, two passengers come out. The taller one's got a short barreled rifle. The second one has what looks like a handgun. Uh, testimonial evidence is they're trying to get the victim to remove his chain that's around his neck. Uh, the victim is somewhat resisting. You can see the victim's hands coming out, uh, trying to push them back or, 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 or not cooperate. The littler guy goes to the passenger side, 
Based on your investigation, the smaller of the two individuals, who is this? Uh, Newsom. And this bigger person is who? Bo, right. Newsom is going to go in the vehicle. Bo Ray is going to fire rounds in at the victim. And Newsom is going to run out with the Louis Vuitton bag.